Hey everybody, this is my brand new 2019 Sea Dew Spark. This is the base model with only 60 horsepower, but today we're going to show you how we're going to get 110 horsepower out of it. We're going to remove the ECU, send it out, and get it flashed. Um, basically, this engine is the 900 Ace, which is also the same as the 90 horsepower HO or high output version. This is also the same engine that goes in the Ski Dew, the sled. So, this engine can definitely handle the 110 horsepower. So uh, stay tuned and we're going to get everything sent out and then see what it does. So there's two different components we're actually going to have to send out. The first being the gauge which is located up here and the second being the actual ECU. So we're going to gain access to both of these. We're going to first remove this upper panel which just pops into place. And then it's got two clips at the top. And then we'll remove this lower panel. So we just twist this to the unlock position and pull. So our ECU sits in here and then this panel gives us access to the bottom of our gauge. So I'm going to start by removing the gauge which is up here. So we're going to come through this panel here and there's three screws that hold it on. So we're going to need a number 15 Torx head. You can see up in here there's one screw there on the top then another here, and one on the other side. So we're going to remove those and the electrical connector, and then our gauge will come out. So to remove our gauge, first we'll disconnect the electrical connector. You'll notice on the side, there is a small red tab. We're going to grab it and pull it down, and then squeeze right above it, and our electrical connector will pop right off. So now we'll go ahead and remove the three screws holding it. So our gauge is removed, here's what it looks like. Now we'll go ahead and start working on our ECU. Um, the ECU has two electrical connectors. And you'll notice this little tab right here on the front. We're going to push this in, and you'll hear a slight click. And that'll unlock this. Push it all the way forward. Our connector will slide right off. You want to remove the front one before you remove the back, just so it's out of the way. Now that those are removed, there's three bolts. There's seven millimeters. There's one on the back, one on the front, and then one on the side. So we'll go ahead and remove those. So our ECU is unscrewed. Go ahead and pull that out. And we're going to send this and this down to Texas, and then we'll see what happens when we get it back. Alright, so I sent out the parts Tuesday. It's now Saturday, and they have returned from uh, Race Lab down in apparently Georgia and not Texas. <laughs> so we'll go ahead and open this stuff up and get it put back on the jet ski.
took a video when I first got the jet ski to compare. So get this stuff installed and go ahead and take it out and here's the side-by-side -side comparison.